But this is what we're going to do now. All right, so uh, let me give you a brief introduction to how uh, the, the app is built up. So first, it always starts on the dashboard here, and you can see the dashboard is empty. I'll come back to the dashboard later on, but basically you can add different dashboards and, uh, and then you can add widgets or devices. Uh, basically, you can add devices, groups, rooms. You can have your favorite devices, your favorite groups and favorite rooms from one place. So you don't have to go to my home and find your room and find your device. So uh, this is very useful if you have a couple of uh, favorite devices that you're using the most. We'll do that later. Uh, if we go to my home here, then you will be able to see that there's no room. Uh, you can see there's a menu in the left side, and then we have the upper menu here. So that's basically the sub menu. Main menu in the left side and sub menu in the top here. In the top, you can see all rooms, all groups, all scenes, or automations, as I call it, all devices. So you can see all of your devices and also your alarm zones. We also have the energy tab and from the energy tab we can go and check uh, live energy consumption or if you're generating energy from your solar panels you can see a lot of statistics we have the settings here and from the settings this is where we can grant account access to uh, the shelly support team we can grant installer access the installer access is exactly uh, with the installer code that we have provided in the document for the customer. So this is where the customer is going to provide uh, access or grant access to you as a shell installer. Uh, we have uh, the language tab here, which is also important if you are speaking another language than English or would like to change it at least. We have the time zone. And here is the tab where we are changing the email address. Um, so this is very important. This is where we are going to add or change the email address when we have finalized our setup. So when finalizing the setup, we will simply ask for the customer's email and we will enter the customer's email here. And then we have changed the ownership from our email address to the customer's email. All right, let's continue a little bit. Go to my home and here in my home, we want to add our first room. So I have one recommendation for you. So basically it depends a little bit if you are making a small installation or if you're making a large installation. Let's assume that we're making a decent installation, maybe 10, 20 devices, uh, but we're installing them without power. When we have installed all devices, we are switching on the power on all the devices at the same time. So what? What are we going to do? All devices will just show up in the app and we don't actually know exactly which devices is controlling what light or which uh, appliance. So I will create a room here called new devices. I will then add all my devices to this room. And when I've added all my devices to this room, then I will turn on, turn off the lights to identify the lights. And then I will move it to the right rooms afterwards. This is how I prefer to do it. But again, there are different approaches. You can also just install one device at a time and then add it to the correct room uh, by powering on one after one. Uh, there are different approaches, but this is my preferred approach. So here we can select a, a, a picture. Uh, there are different default pictures, different rooms. You can also upload your own picture. I'll just give it a color. That's it. We have added our first room. Let's now add a couple of more rooms. Uh, I would like to add, I'll just call this room living room. Let's pretend that everything is installed inside the living room here. That's better. Then I will select a default image uh, from the living room. That's great. That's a nice living room there. Good. Now I have added my rooms. Um, and now we're actually ready to add our very first Shelly device. 